Hi. You're late. I know. You've had a haircut. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I went to the hairdressers. Oh. Sorry, I thought I told you. I don't think you did. Oh. Well, anyway, what do you think? You've had loads off. Only a few inches. Do you like it? I don't know. Oh. I mean, I always liked your long hair. You know I've always liked your long hair. It's not exactly short, though. I thought you might like it. Yeah, and you've been growing your hair for years to get it really long, so I just don't understand why you would get it cut when you know I always liked your long hair. I just thought it'd be nice to change it. And you're late. Yeah, it's the only time Charlotte could fit me in. Right. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision. I wanted to go for it, and Kathy at work was egging me on, and you know what they're like. Go on, I dare you. You know what they're like. I'm not even sure it suits me. It's too short for you. Shall we have dinner? I've not made anything. I've got some leftovers I'll heat up. It really was Kathy egging me on. She was like, it would look great if it was just a bit shorter. Why don't you call the hairdressers now? Charlotte really could only fit me in at about six o'clock. I tried to call Jay twice, but he didn't answer. I left two messages. Where's Alfie? Is he okay? He's fine. He's in bed. Oh, I'll go and check on him and say goodbye. He good said night. he's fine, okay? You were late, so I put him to bed. Now he's asleep, so just leave him be. Okay. Well, as long as he's all right, I'll get dinner on. How's your day been? How's your day been? Oven's on and food's in. So, how's your day been? Fine. I'm not sure the shave of your haircut suits your face. Your face is quite masculine, actually, when you look at it closely. So, how's your day been? My day was fine. I'm really getting the hang of the systems at work now. Kathy's been really helping me. She's been great. She's made me sign up for a course to be the safety person at work. Silly, really, but I'm quite looking forward to it. Who's Kathy exactly? You're always saying, oh, you know what she's like, but I don't. I have no idea what she's like. Well, uh, she's married, she's got three kids, and she's from up north. Uh, northerner? I don't remember that about her. She seemed like a loud mouth to me. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say loud Please don't defend her. I know a loud mouth when I see one. Kathy is a loud mouth. I met her the other day. On and on she went about everything that popped into her tiny little brain. Egging my Vicky on to get a haircut. Who does she think she is? How many times have I asked Vicky to grow her hair long or, or complimented her on her hair? I loved that it went down to her bum. I thought it was sexy. It used to be long, and I liked it, and now it's not. If she knew that, then why did she get it cut? Did you manage to get that meeting with Dan about holidays? Gonna borrow your phone. What for? I've run out of data, I wanna look at something. What are you looking up? Just something on the internet. You didn't tell me about Dan. Did you manage to get that meeting? I got postponed till next week. Oh. Well, we can wait till then anyway. Yeah, I know. You got a message. Who from? Kathy. Do you want me to read it to you? Oh, no, I'll look at it later. Are you sure? I can do her accent. <laughs> Why did you get your hair cut? What do you mean? I mean, if you know I like your long hair, and I'm always complimenting you on your long hair, then why did you get it cut? Well, 
I told you, Kathy was. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy doesn't live here, though, does she? Kathy doesn't have to see it all the time. But it wasn't all Kathy. I wanted to do it too. But why? Or maybe I should ask for who? What do you mean who? That's what I mean. If not for me, then for who? It's just a haircut. It's not for anyone. I promise. I'm really not sure. I believe you. Look, I love you, and I love that you care about my hair. But it's not for anyone. I promise. Fine. What are we doing this weekend? Well, I thought I mentioned, but some of the girls from work asked me to go out with them this weekend. And Mum's having Alfie, so I thought you could go out with your mates. Why didn't you ask me to look after Alfie? Oh, I thought it'd be nice for you to see your mates. And Mum offered, so I thought that'd be the best way to... But if Mum's got him anyway, then wouldn't it be nicer for you and me to do something together? I can ask her to have him next weekend, and we could do something oh, then. Oh, no, tomorrow night. Well, I'd already promised Cathy that I'd oh. go. Cathy. Oh, yeah, she'll be there, but so will a few others. It's just a glass of wine or two. Wouldn't it be better for you and me to go out for dinner or something? Oh, oh. Well, we go to that, that, that Thai place on South Hill. You know, the one with the curry you love. Oh, yeah, we could, but I didn't... We hardly ever get to go out. It'd be great to have some quality time together. Just, just tell Cathy you'll do it another time. Well, I could, but I did promise... Plus, you, you see Cathy all bloody week anyway. See me. Dinner with me. Wine with me. Fine. Fine. Stop doing that. I'll counsel Cathy. Great. I'll book us a table. Uh, do you want your phone? What for? To cancel Cathy. Cancel her. Cancel that loud mouth. I don't want Cathy seeing my Vicky and telling her what to do. It's B-A-E, isn't it? Before anyone else. That's our relationship. That's how it started, and that's how it's carrying on. We've got a kid, Cathy. You can't come between that. Fine. She messaged you again. You literally spoke to her two hours ago. And? She's asking me about my hair. She's still going on about that? Yeah, she's just interested because she's too scared to get her own hair cut. She's texting you twice about hair. One asking me about it and one asking for a picture. Are you going to send her one? Not right now. Why not? I'll take it. I'm trying to get tea sorted. I think your hair looks nice, by the way. Thank you. How did you pay for it? What? Well, you haven't been paid for your new job yet, so I was just wondering how you pay for your hair. Mum lent me some money. I was only wondering because we haven't got any spare cash, so... Yeah, it was Mum. She said she'd go halves with me. Do you have to pay her back? Yeah, but only a tenner. So you do have to pay her back? Yeah. I think we should take a picture for Cathy. Well, I've just got dinner on the table. Come on. Well, the food will get Oh, cold. we've got to take a picture for your bestie of your new hair. Come on. Pose for me. There. Great. You come and sit down now. Send it. Fine. Done. I've sent it. Will you come and sit down now? It's not just in my head, is it? Sometimes I want to tell people about Jay, but I'm not sure they'll understand. Hey. What are you doing? What? She's been talking to you. Have you been talking to them? No, I didn't say anything. What have you been saying? 
I didn't say anything, I promise. Who have you been talking to then? Kathy? I don't say anything, Jake, I promise. You know better than to talk to them about us. She's not normally like this, are you, darling? No, I didn't say anything. Maybe she's feeling unwell. I didn't say anything, did I? Then why are the curtains open? I don't know. Close them then. That's better.